In this experiment, you'll learn how to account for uncertainty in experimental measurements by repeatedly measuring the velocity of a cart on a track. Here's our setup. We've got a cart with narrow wheels on a flat metal track so that there's very little friction. The cart has a spring plunger at one end, and we can use this to launch the car with a very consistent velocity. We'll do this by holding the cart against one of the bumpers and then letting go. We need to measure the length of the track as well. Every measurement should also have an uncertainty associated with it. In the case of our length, this would be a range expressed as a plus or minus value. When we release the cart, we can measure the time it takes to travel the length of the track and use that to determine the velocity. It's common practice to measure the same quantity multiple times in order to confirm the result. We don't expect to get the same result every time, because many minor random factors will influence our measurement every time. However, we do expect that the numbers should cluster around some central value. If we take all our measurements and divide them up into little ranges, we can plot them on a bar graph like this. This is called a frequency histogram, and we can see that when we're measuring a single value, it has a bell curve shape. This is also called a Gaussian distribution. The peak in this bell curve is the average or mean of the distribution. We can also find this by adding all the measurements together and dividing by the total number of measurements. The width of the bell curve shows how tightly packed our values are. When we estimate the uncertainty in a single measurement, we're really guessing at what we think the width of this bell curve would be if we did the measurement many, many times. We can also calculate this using a formula called the standard deviation. As we take additional measurements, the mean value can move around. And although it moves around less the more measurements we take, we can never arrive at the true value. We can also start to fill in this bell curve, but we'll never end up with a completely smooth Gaussian distribution. We can, however, calculate the uncertainty in our average by dividing the standard deviation by the square root of the number of measurements. In many disciplines, this is called the standard error or standard deviation of the mean. Measure the velocity of the car in each of the trials in this video and use the results to answer the questions at the end.